Good evening, everyone. I now call to order the special session meeting of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpa Springs on Wednesday, September 15, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. Ms. Jacobs, roll call. Mayor Alahusis. Here. Vice Mayor Carr. Here. Commissioner Terrapani. Here. Commissioner Donovan. Here. Commissioner Vatikiotis. Here. I'd like to uh, remind to everyone that tonight's meeting is to get public input regarding fiscal year 2021 and 2022 budget. The first item on the agenda is a resolution 2021-47 adopted the final millage rate for tax year 2021. Mr. Harry, if you please review the procedures required by state law. Uh, good evening, Mayor Commissioners. Ron Heron, Finance Director. Um, Tonight, the Florida Statute 200.065 sets the procedures for the adoption of the millage rate in the budget. The final millage rate must be approved before the final budget. The final millage rate for tax year 2021 is 5.37, the same as the previous year. The final millage rate of 5.37 is 4.56% above the rollback rate of 5.1359. The rollback rate is the rate that would provide the same dollar amount of revenues as the previous year. The increase over the rollback rate is being used to fund personnel and operating costs. And with that, I'll leave it open for questions. Or Thank you. City Attorney, if you please read the resolution. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good evening. Resolution 2021-47, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, adopting the final millage rate for the tax year 2021. Whereas a public hearing was held on September 15th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. to adopt the final millage rate. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, that one, the ad valorem millage rate for the tax year 2021 of the City of Tarpon Springs is hereby established at 5.3700, a 4.56% increase over the rollback rate of 5.1359. Number two, the city staff is hereby directed to notify all pertinent government to agencies of the provisions hereof as required by law. Thank you. Mr. LeCour, do you have any staff report on that? No, sir, nothing to add. Okay, are we going to the public comments? Do we have any public comments on this item? Anita Protus, 901 Bayshore Drive. It's been so long, I can't remember to whether to bring this up now or wait for the final budget. But first of all, thank you for working with our city attorney last night. We are very lucky to have the rates that he's giving Tarpon Springs compared to what we have south of us. Uh, again, I'm very disappointed uh, that we didn't make uh, in the budget with the millage rate a department for a grant person. We are missing out on so much grant money, it's not funny. We need someone here that knows how to do grants, that works with grants in Tallahassee and is well, well educated with it. I brought names in of uh, individuals that have worked with the city of Tarpon Springs, phone numbers to contact them, none of them have been contacted. We are missing out on a lot of grant money that we could work with in this community. We didn't go for BP money where we could have gotten millions of dollars. We didn't work with the Linger Longer tra Trailer Park where we could have gotten boat ramps there. We re we're missing out on a lot in Tarpon Springs. And with grant money, it's out there to help us do the projects that we want. So I hope that next year, whoever is mayor, will say we need a grant department and get a qualified, well-established grant person to work for Tarpon Springs. Thank, Thank you. you. Do we have any other public comments on this item? Hi, Craig Lunt, 743 Chesapeake Drive. I'm gonna echo some of the sentiments. Um, I really think that we should have addressed a grant person for the city. Um, our grant money, by the looks of the budgets, has been falling somewhat. Um, also, you see things like a $10.5 million grant in progress um, and no grant person to chase it. And then last night I heard when we addressed the, uh, the dredging 
um, that needed to be done for several of the bayous and waterways, um, it was mentioned that we should cover that with grant money, again, with no grant person to chase this money. So we're either fooling ourselves and thinking this is gonna get done or pull from general funds somewhere, or we actually really need to seriously consider get a, a, a responsible person to chase the grants that are out there and available for us. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other public comments? If you're none, uh, the chair will retain the motion. Motion to approve. Second. Any uh, commission comments? If you're none, roll call please. Commissioner Vaticiotis? Yes. Commissioner Donovan? Yes. Commissioner Terrapenny? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Lahuzis? Yes, thank you. The uh, second item on the agenda is resolution 2021-48, adopting the final budget for fiscal year 2021 and 2022. Mr. Herrick, please review the uh, procedures required by the state law. Yeah, so the final budget for fiscal year 2022 for the whole city is $69,173,632, an increase of $5,895,133, or 9.32% over the adopted budget for fiscal year 2021. The majority of the increase is being used for capital outlay. Thank you. City Attorney, if you please read the resolution. Yes, sir. Thank you. Resolution 2021-48, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, adopting the final budget for fiscal year 2021-2022, whereas a public hearing was held on September 15, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. to adopt a final budget. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, that one, the City of Tarpon Springs annual budget for fiscal year 2021-2022 is hereby finally adopted, and two, the city staff is hereby directed to notify all pertinent governmental agencies of the, the provisions hereof as required by law. Thank you. Mr. LaCruz, do you have staff report? I have nothing to add, Mayor. Okay. Are there any public comments on this item? I hear none. The chair will retain the motion. So moved. Second. Are, are there any commission comments? Hear none. Roll call, please. Commissioner Vatagiotis? Yes. Commissioner Donovan? Yes. Commissioner Terrapani? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Alahusis? Yes. Well, that concludes the special session, and it's adjourned at 6.37 p.m., and we go to the CRA meeting. <clears throat> I now call to order the uh, Community Redevelopment Agency of the City of Tarver Springs on Wednesday, September 15, 2021, at 6.37 p.m. Ms. Jacobs, roll call, please. <coughs> Chair Alahuzis? Yes. Vice Chair Carr? Here. Commissioner Terrapani? Here. Commissioner Donovan? Here. Commissioner Vaticiotis? Here. The only item on the agenda is Resolution 2021-02, adopting the final budget for the fiscal year 2021-2022. Mr. Herrick, please review the procedures required by the state law. Uh, yes, the final CRA budget for fiscal year 2022 was $644,104, an increase of 85204 or 15.2% over the adopted budget for fiscal year 2021. The increase is due to taxable values increasing 9.44%, which is being used for capital outlay. Thank you. Senior Attorney, if you please read the resolution. Yes, thank you. Resolution 2021-02, a resolution of the C Community Redevelopment Agency of the City of Turpin Springs, Florida, adopting the final budget for fiscal year 2021-2022, whereas a public hearing was held on September 15, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. to adopt a final budget. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Community Redevelopment Agency of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, that Section 1, the Community Redevelopment Agency's annual budget for fiscal year 2021-2022 is hereby finally adopted. Section 2, the City staff is hereby directed to notify all pertinent governmental agencies of the provisions hereof as required by law. Thank you. Are there any public comments on the CRA budget? Hear none. The Chair will retain the motion. Motion to approve. Second. Are there any commission comments? Hear none. Roll call, please. Commissioner Vaticiotis? Yes. Commissioner Donovan? Yes. Commissioner Terrapani? Yes. Vice Chair Carr? Yes. Chair Luzes? Yes. Well, that concludes the CRA agenda, and it's adjourned at 6.39 p.m.
Good night, everybody. You did it, man. Did we break it? You did it. You broke it. Less than 10 minutes. New record.